one of those mornings where you wake up and you look like me? Well, I have hope for you, don't worry. Do you see all this acne and all the shine going on? Well, sometimes our skin just breaks out, like you're going through a bad breakup or your family's stressing you out and you just have acne. And you always wondered how to do your makeup so you can cover up the red spots? Well, this is a great solution for you. Well, since on the color circle, the opposite of red is green, right? And I know it sounds really, really scary to put green on your face, but you'll see, it neutralizes these red spots here. See this, all this going on on my face? Well, I just always, I just put green on there and it neutralizes it. Now, so I have all of my red covered up by the green. And what I used to do um, the green color was this hard candy palette. And it actually comes with two colors I use a lot. This green I use for my zits. And this um, tanny, light tan color I use for my indentions, like my wrinkles and stuff. So I put those in my crevices and then I get rid of those. The next thing I want to do is highlight my uh, you know, the indentions on my face, like contour things and make it stand out more. And it always looks freaky at first, all the time. I have this brush and this thing, it's uh, by Maybelline called Ice Studio New York. And it's brown, so it's perfect. And I just use this for my highlighting techniques and the brush comes with this when you buy it. The next thing you want to do is apply lotion, a tinted lotion. I use e.l.f. moisturizer because it has like um, sunscreen in it so it keeps your skin from wrinkling up. Keeps you looking young and stiff. And when you put the lotion on, it will also blend all the other things that you've done. Another thing the lotion's going to help is for your powder to stick on your face all day. off the green a little bit too much just put it put some more back on it and then um, you see my smile lines when I do that and I have like these lines and when I raise my forehead 
have those lines. Well, I just take my brush and I rub that color I showed you earlier um, into those crevices. And you can also do the dark circles under your eyes with this too. next thing you do is you put your foundation on uh, or I mean your powder foundation I use wet and wild color rich a lot um, and I also use these covergirl powder things what else stay matte those are my three favorite products and I also just found one at Sally's I liked a lot too one let me let me go get it <laughs> And I also used this. I just bought it at Sally's just recently. Love this stuff. I can find all sorts of really nice different brushes at the dollar store. <laughs> so I go there all the time. I usually put on like different powders. I don't know. I like to mix them. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm layering them instead of just like putting on one over and over. Because every powder, even if you buy the same powder in different brands, um, they're different colors. So sometimes I like to mix them up. Okay, so now all my whites on, and I feel all pale. I'm gonna put some of this kind on my neck. Before you ever do your eye makeup, make sure you always do your foundation because when you're putting on your foundation, it will get on to your eye makeup and you'll just have to redo it all over again. So you waste your time. And the goal is to get ready as soon as possible. I use, always use like a side br sideways brush to put on blush because it follows your lines easier than one of these fat brushes will. And I put it all the way from my ear, all the way down to my lip. I always put dark under my chin because it gets rid of your double chin. It's just shadowing technique. Then follow down your neck. This guy's like sexy necks. That's the goal, to be sexy. Or lesbians. Lesbians like sexy necks too. <laughs> Okay, when you look at your face, you gotta think like, okay, are there too many white spots or whatever? So I usually get like um, a little bit of a darker powder and put it on. Yeah, pogues every once in a while. Makes you feel like you're doing a 
good job or something. Because you gotta think you're pretty too, not just the guys and lesbians. Okay, the next thing you want to do is your eyes. That's the most important thing. Because if people are looking at your eyes, they're not looking at your zits, right? <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm putting this LA Colors Mineral Eyeshadow on, and it's, uh, I don't know what color, gold. <laughs> so just put the gold on, because it's amazing. You'll see, you'll see when you use it. Get true to your dark circles. put some of this to cover it because I have really veiny eyes so I have to cover it up because that scare people next thing I do is I put on my highlights first and then my low lights where my crevices would be. But um but it's personal preference, so it just depends. So I put white, just like pure white, right underneath my eyebrows. use black and white that's it I don't use any other colors um, white is for the highlights black is for the low lights you can make black as dark or light as you want you can you know whatever you want and then I use brown eyeliner and then I if I want to highlight with the brown then I can just make it as light or dark as I want it's just a blending technique you know there's no need to buy all these palettes with 10 billion colors because probably only gonna use like two of them Okay, so the same stuff I used to contour my whatever I was doing, you put it on as eyeliner with this little brush. So that's what I'm doing right now. use this to highlight my eyebrows because the powder sometimes it actually gets on there and makes them a lot lighter. And I don't pluck my eyebrows so they're bushy and I'm proud of it just like me. The next thing I do is I put on mascara because it helps the fake eyelashes stick to my eyelashes better and also it helps while taking them off you won't be ripping out your eyelashes instead you'll be peeling off the mascara which I think is a really good technique. I'll just wait for a second for that to dry. <laughs> Ooh, 
Sometimes this happens too. Blobs of glue. Can you talk about how you glue it or anything? Oh, I think most girls know how, but I don't know. <laughs> It just takes a minute for the glue to dry. So. Okay, so sometimes when you put your powder on, it actually dries out your face a little bit because it's soaking up the oils in your face. So when you wiggle your thing like this a lot, um, you'll see the creases a little more. That's why it's that's why it's a good thing to always put this on there before you put the powder on because even if your creases aren't showing before the powder they'll show after so this lives you <laughs> I don't wear lip gloss or lipstick just because I don't want to like when I'm kissing a guy I don't want him to taste that <laughs> I want to be all natural you know so I just wear chapstick this is good kind I guess this is the kind I bought <laughs> Okay, so, and the other thing I like to do is bring out my imperfections. <laughs> like, my mole right here, I really like it, so I always darken it a little bit. Okay, just enough. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it and can do your makeup in the morning and cover up yours that's good and everything. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and watch all my other videos. Bye! Wouldn't that be horrible if my makeup ended up looking really bad? <laughs>